everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the winter woven throw. And this uh, is a blanket that is made with a super bulky weight yarn called Lion Brand. Woolies, thick and quick, it's one of my favorite bulky weight yarns. Uh, as you can see, it's quite thick, uh, which gives the blanket a good weight and uh, it's fairly quick to work up. So it's uh, it's just a great yarn to work with. Uh, it's about 80% acrylic and 20% wool. And uh, I use these bonus bundles for my uh, blankets because there's a little bit more yarn in it than, uh, than those smaller balls. So this one has a total of 10 ounces. They're about 174 yards of yarn. Uh, for this blanket, you are going to need approximately nine balls, and uh, that is going to get you a blanket that is about 42, 43 inches by 50 inches, and then it's going to give you a fringe for the end. Uh, I will give you uh, instructions in case you want to change the size of your blanket. It's a good blanket to kind of modify to your needs. For this pattern, along with your nine bonus bundles of Woolies Quick and uh, Thick and Quick, you are going to need a 10 millimeter crochet hook and a copy of the written crochet pattern, which can be found for free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. I'll just show you a quick, uh, obviously I can't get the whole blanket in this video, but this just gives you uh, a picture of the corner of it and as you can see when it's worked up with this thick yarn it gives it a great texture uh, the texture is kind of like a woven it looks woven to me which is why I called it the winter woven throw it's actually made up using the twisted stitch and it's uh, a simple two row repeat so uh, this is a great blanket to work on while you're watching TV or uh, sitting and relaxing at home uh, it's an easy blanket, and as I said before, using this super bulky weight yarn means it works up fairly quickly and has a great weight to it. So why don't I uh, grab a hook and uh, some yarn and we'll get started. The color shown in the blanket in the photo and on my blog is called Beach Glass. And uh, the color I'm going to be using today in the video is actually a gray marble. Thank you so much again for joining me and uh, while you're here I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It is updated weekly with free crochet patterns such as this one and also some crochet stitch tutorials. Now for our blanket today, there are two different ways that you can start the blanket. The first is that you can work a foundation row of double crochet stitches and a total of 83 double crochet stitches, or you can chain 86, then turn your work and double crochet in the fourth chain from hook and in each across. Today, I am going to start by making a foundation row of double crochet stitches. In this pattern, your chain three is always going to count as a stitch. So at the end of each row, including your chain three, you will have a total of 84 stitches. So to work our foundation row, we're going to start by chaining four. You're then going to, in that fourth chain from hook, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that fourth chain. Now, because we are going to be working our chain stitches and our double crochet stitches at the same time, you're going to yarn over and draw up a loop. There's three loops on your hook. Now you want to make your chain stitch. So you're going to yarn over, pull through that first loop, and there's your chain stitch. You now have to work your double crochet, so you're going to yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, and pull through two more. So you now have a chain three plus one double crochet stitch worked out of a chain here at the bottom. Okay, so the foundation uh, stitch 
double crochet makes it a little bit easier so you're not working back uh, into uh, possibly fairly tight chains. So we're going to continue working and uh, you're going to need a total of 83 double crochet stitches plus your chain three for a total of 84. Uh, in this tutorial, I am going to simply just do 20. I'm not going to do the entire blanket. If you are going to change the size, you're just going to need an odd number of chains plus three or an odd number of double crochet foundation stitches plus your chain three at the beginning. So you'll have an even number altogether. So to continue our foundation double crochet, I'm going to yarn over into that chain there at the bottom under the V, under the, uh, the two stitches, the two horizontal bars there, I'm going to insert my hook. So I'm working back into the base of that double crochet stitch. I'm going to yarn over and drop a loop. I now need to complete my chain stitch, so yarn over, draw through one loop. Now I'm going to work the double crochet stitch, so yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two more. I now have two foundation double crochets plus my chain three. We're going to continue all the way across. So under the, that, uh, those two horizontal bars at the bottom of my double crochet, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over, pull through one, there's my chain, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two more. So go ahead and continue to do that and uh, until you have a total of 83 stitches plus your beginning chain three. So now at the end of your foundation row of stitches, so whether you did the chain, followed by a row of double crochet stitches or you did your foundation double crochet stitches. After that, you're going to chain three and you're going to turn your work. Remember that your chain three always counts as a stitch. We're now going to start working a pattern of front post and back post double crochet stitches. Because our chain three counts as a stitch, we're going to skip that first stitch and we're going to start with a front post double crochet around the next stitch. To work your front post double crochet stitch, you're going to yarn over, bring your hook into the front of your work, insert your hook from right to left, if you're right-handed, around the post of the double crochet stitch, the next one, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two more. That's going to bring your double crochet to the front of your work. Your next, you're going to work a back post double crochet in the next stitch. To work your back post double crochet, you're going to yarn over, bring your hook in behind your work, insert your hook from the back through to the front around the post of the next double crochet stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through two, yarn over and draw through two more. You'll see that that double crochet stitch is toward the back of your work. You are going to repeat that all the way across. Front post, double crochet around the next stitch, back post, double crochet around the next. Continue that all the way across. And when you come to your beginning uh, chain three, that final stitch in this row, you're simply going to work one double crochet stitch in the top of that turning chain. I am now working my final double crochet stitch in the top of my turning chain, which will bring me uh, to the end of this row one. I'm then going to chain three and turn my work. 
We're now going to continue working our front and back post double crochet stitches, except we're going to start uh, with the opposite as we did the row from the row before. So now we're going to start with a back post double crochet around the next stitch. followed by a front post double crochet around the next. You're going to repeat that all the way across, back post, double crochet stitch, followed by a front post, double crochet stitch. Uh, as you're working, always pay attention and make sure that your stitches are the working uh, the opposite as of the one down below it. So you're going to be pulling these stitches from the back to the front and from the front to the back. That's what's going to give you uh, this woven look that you see in the blanket. Continue that all the way across and when you come to the end of your row you're going to work your final double crochet into the top of that turning chain. At the end of your row two there, you're going to chain three and turn your work. As I mentioned earlier, this is a two row repeat for this pattern. So now we're going to go back and uh, basically what we work what we did there for our first row, starting with a front post double crochet in the next stitch, followed by back post double crochet. And that's essentially all there is to this blanket pattern. It's just very simple, uh, very easy. Um, there's no edging or anything like that. I find this yarn is quite stable, so I don't need an edging to make it uh, look finished at all. Uh, I did add, and it is optional, I added a fringe to both ends. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll finish up my swatch and then I'll meet you back here to show you how I attached and made uh, my fringe for this blanket. I'm finishing up my swatch. If you are continuing on with your blanket, you are going to continue repeating those rows, those rows two and three, until your work from the beginning measures approximately 50 inches or your desired length. Okay, so you're just going to continue repeating those rows, your front post and back post double crochets, uh, until it measures about 50 inches. Then when you're finished, you're going to fasten off and you're going to weave in your ends. Then if you so choose, you are invited to add a fringe to the end. Now for my fringe, all I did was I took some extra yarn, I measured it to about 10 inches, and then I cut. And for each tassel down at the bottom, I used three pieces of yarn. Okay, so three pieces of yarn, cut to about 10 inches. I then very simply just took my blanket, the corner, I pushed uh, the three strands of yarn through. Of course you'll have woven in your ends. I brought them down so that they were about even here down at the bottom. And afterward you can always go ahead and trim your tassels at the end. And then I simply tied a knot. <laughs> That's all I did. I find the knots are quite secure, especially when you are washing it, or in my house, uh, blankets get a lot of wear and tear with my kids. Um, so I find them quite secure. So I just simply tie a knot, make sure it is tight. And I did that for um, every second stitch. So then I skipped a stitch, and then in the next stitch, I repeated the same thing. Cut lengths of my yarn, about 10 inches long, three at a time. Uh, pushed them through, folded them over, and simply tied a knot to secure my tassel onto the blanket. 
So that's all there is to making this winter woven throw. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.